In this video, we're going to explain how to form a blocker plate. So on some lawnmowers, you have a uh, curve at the back of the discharge opening that you want to form the uh, bl plastic blocker plate to fit around. So what we want to do is uh, explain the process of doing that. The first thing we're going to want to do is decide where we want to start the bend. And so what I do is I uh, place the plastic around that curve to get a, a location, and then I'll mark that location. Um, once that's done, then I'm going to go ahead and, and start heating it. So what we'll do is using a propane torch, we'll start uh, applying heat to that. And as we do this, we want to make sure that we continually move that uh, source of heat, whether you're using a propane torch or a heat gun. Uh, in either case, you want to continually move that heat source around so that you don't end up blistering the plastic or overheating it in one spot. And uh, what will happen if you do that is you'll end up with a, a crack uh, and you won't be satisfied with the job. So we're just going to slowly apply heat, allowing time for it to be absorbed into the plastic. Now this uh, process takes about six and a half, seven minutes, depending on what you're using to heat it with. And during this video, I'm just going to go ahead and let the uh, video run, uh, give you some idea of the uh, whole process for warming the plastic up. You can see that as I apply the heat, the uh, plastic is going to uh, bend away from the heat, if you will. Uh, that's due to the one side getting warm and the other side being a bit cooler. So it's going to get a curve to it. And we'll just continue applying heat to both sides, to make sure that we warm it up uh, thoroughly and all the way through the plastic. On some decks you'll have a straight line bend that you'll want to make and in that case you would just harm, uh, just heat a straight line and in this case since it's going on a deck with a curved back end well, we're going to go ahead and apply heat to the entire length of the back of it. Uh, in this case this happens to be a Skag SWZT but the same would be true uh, if you were putting it on say a Ferris lawnmower, uh, a Skag, um, perhaps even a, a Cub Cadet, any mower that has a curve on the back end that you would like to seal up better. We're about three and a half minutes in now, and uh, you can see the plastic is, is beginning to uh, allow the heat to let it go ahead and bend. Um, I'll try it on here to see where my fitment is. I'm going to continue heating it on the back side here, uh, allowing that plastic to absorb a little bit more heat, and uh, then we'll let it cool. So we're pretty close on the on the bend that we want to have. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it start cooling. As it, as it cools, what I want to do is overbend the plastic some. It's easier to straighten it a little bit if you need to than to try and bend it farther. So typically what I shoot for is a little bit too much curve and, uh, and then I can adjust as needed. It's going to take a couple of minutes here for this to cool down to a, a point where we can leave it set. And we're just going to again continue holding it uh, with that curve to it, allowing it to cool off.
can see it's cooling off uh, enough where I can start to put my hand on it, uh, which means we're getting close. One last check here to see if the uh, curve is where we want it to be, and uh, we're, we're pretty good. We're uh, about six and a half minutes in, and it looks in good shape. We can move on to the next step.